What was your uh, what was your review of the scrimmage? Um, I mean, there's a lot. There were some good. There was a lot of bad. I think the biggest thing is just the point of attack. Uh, our defense was more physical than us, like, all across the board. And I think the biggest, uh, the second biggest thing Coach Rick has been harping on is just like deep balls. As you can tell, I missed Lawrence Cager twice. I missed Daryl Langham once. Um, and we, we're just missing good balls, and those are shots that we had to make. We had to put a ball up where, they, where those guys can make a play. I mean, they're very athletic. We've seen Daryl go up and make go balls for us twice. Florida State and Georgia Tech. So that's the biggest thing is just getting back in the thumbs, guys catching the balls when they play for us. But what kind of difference is it going to make when the O-line practices more together and that first team O-line? I think it's going to make the biggest difference, you know, um, putting uh, Big Bond at right tackle. He's going to lose some weight, so he's going to be a little more athletic. And he's doing a great job, you know, going from guard to tackle is big because you start going from more of a Gerald Willis down to a Joe Jackson or Garvin. They're, they're, those are two different athletes. So Navon's doing a great job in adjusting. You know, you got Jahir and Mahoney, which are two new guys that are in there now. And I mean, once they start getting that cohesive um, communication and stuff, and, and, I, and I get comfortable with them, I think they're going to be great. Because you can see at some plays, you literally have like a perfect horseshoe. No one's around me. And there's other plays with a little, little bit of miscommunication. But I think you give them the summer and the fall, they're going to be fine and we're going to be ready to go. How do you feel like you're doing? You know, last time everybody talked to you was the first day of spring, and now we're yeah. near the end. How do you feel? You're doing specific. Um, I mean, I feel like I'm doing fine. You know, I think the biggest thing is just communicating with these guys. Um, there was a couple of times today that I killed plays that it was just something that I saw, and Coach Rick told me a good job. And, you know, Coach is coming along, and, and Jaron's learning, and I, I wish Kate can be at it because this is a great time for us to get reps and get more experience. But, I mean, for me personally, I think I'm doing good. Um, my, my accuracy rate needs to go up. Other than that, what are your thoughts on, on the Cozy and Jaron and how they're doing? Um, and Cozy's doing really well, you know. Um, as you can tell him, uh, the spring game, he's very athletic. He can move around, make people miss. Um, he's, he's an accurate passer. I still think the one on the sideline that he threw deep was a completion. So, I mean, that was a great ball. I am running on the field telling him great ball. And then Jaron, you know, Jaron makes mistakes, but I mean, one thing about him is accurate. Like, he'll go to the wrong side, but still throw a completion, which is like freakish. Like, you shouldn't be able to do that, especially versus our defense. And that's the biggest thing with Jaron. He's just a very accurate passer. He's young, and once he learns that he's going to be really good in the system. I think you talked about at the start of the spring wanting, needing to show that you were the guy. Do you feel at this point that you've shown you're the guy? Um, yeah, at this point, you know, a lot of the linemen trust me, the receivers trust me. They tell me, hey, just be you, don't try to be someone else. And that's the biggest thing, just being the same guy every day. Because once the guys start to see, okay, this is the guy that Malik is, and they're going to follow along, and that's one thing I, I have to do. What about the, I know Thomas is really, TV's really stressed being player led. And Travis talked about he's tried to step up in that role. He said you tried to step up in that role. Are you guys starting to find that, that leadership a little bit? Yeah, we are. And I think the, hard, the, the hardest thing is it's so hot out here. And sometimes guys, their mind isn't mentally in it. So sometimes you kind of got to yell at them and get them going because otherwise they're going to kind of slouch. And so that's the biggest thing is just like when people want to give, not even give up, when, we, when people let fatigue set in, the leaders have to do that extra boost to get them back up, to get them motivated to keep practicing. So what's it been like to compete? What was it like to come out here to practice after you played your spring game Saturday? <laughs> yeah. That had to feel a little weird. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it was very weird. And I think that's like the hardest thing to do because you play your, your spring game, kind of, okay, spring's over with. But it's not. We have a whole nother, we have two more practice, well, one more practice and a scrimmage left. Mm -hmm. So I got to make sure the guys stay focused. That it's not over. We still have a long ways to go. We still got more installs to go into. So the biggest thing is letting the guys lock in and doing their job every play. You have, an, you have the questions. alumni. Right? The alumni are coming to the scrimmage. They're invited. Yeah, you know, actually, well, after the, during the scrimmage, I talked to Frank Gore a little bit. And then after, I talked to Michael Urban some. So, I mean, there's still guys coming around and talking to us, so it's nice to see the alumni. But what what's that going to be like? There's going to be a ton of them there. Does that um, kind of get you guys I mean, psyched up? Or? I mean, yeah, I mean, it'll be great to talk to the guys after. But for us, like, you can't let somebody being there affect how you play because if you try to do too much you're going to fail if you try to do too less you're not going to be so like the big thing is being the same person no matter if there's a thousand people there if there's one person there just be the same guy and do your job right. thank, uh, you, thank, you. thank you thanks Malik.